Oh, you know what we could do? This is not actually a good idea. Because it's going to spawn new zombies and they're going to come after us now. <laughs> look, at the, look at the destruction. Man, it's beautiful. I probably just killed myself. And I, I want to try and get up on the... Oh, shit! <laughs> no, we're dead. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and I have been working my old butt off uh, trying to get to the Horde base ready, particularly uh, with the return path. And we mostly got it done. We got the path done, and we we got most of it upgraded to cobblestone, but I did not have enough concretes to upgrade the whole thing to concrete. So hopefully the Zombos will use it to path back up to us and not destroy it. Um... And, you know, and I'm expecting, you know, to have a pretty decent horde night. So not a whole lot else has happened other than just me working on that. I do, I have planted the garden again since I left you in the last episode. And um, I was able to make, I think, a total of six hobo stews with the produce that was left over, which is fantastic. And I still have two left uh, because we've been, you know, consuming it as we've continued to mine. So I think that's really about all I have to update you on. Uh, we do have... Um, we, we are going to be working on making the rain barrel when we get back because I've actually been live streaming today. Uh, so I have a live audience. And so if you guys hear me you know, talking to people, uh, at, that's why. And uh, we've had a lot of fun uh, just hanging out today. And, uh, you know, they're still with me even as I'm recording this. But somebody in the live stream was telling me that if I make the rain catcher, it'll actually give us jars, which we desperately, desperately need. So that's going to be a high priority for us after you know we're finished with the horde base so let's go ahead and head on over there shut up spider there's a chicken and um so nothing's really changed up top since day 49 uh what we're going to do too is we're going to keep the bike out here uh, if the shit hits the fan like really bad and i have to bail the plan will be to try and make it back over to our original horde base um, and see if we can get up in there before we die. So that building is, where the hell is that building? We should probably mark it because if I'm in panic mode, I'm not going to want to be trying to figure out where it is, but especially because if we jump on the bike, we'll have boss vultures after us too. Um, the other bad thing about this, if we have to do it, which I don't think we will, but if we have to do it, um, we're going to have to contend with sleepers too, but we should be okay, you know, doing that. Okay, so let's just do this. The other thing, too, is I have not, um, let's, uh, do Horde Base 2. I have not done any repairs in here. Yeah, see, we got sleepies since the last Horde Night, so we would be, yeah, this, this would be iffy. <laughs> It'd be iffy, but hopefully we won't have to do that. I just haven't had time. I've been working so hard, you know, off camera and stuff, trying to get all this stuff ready that, uh, you know, never enough time, right? Never enough time. I think we'll be fine, though. I'm, I'm not anticipating that anything disastrous is going to happen, but, you know, this is Ravenhurst, so you never know. You just never know. Okay, let's head on over to the base. Um, actually, we're going to park here because this is our our entrance. And, um, one you know, one thing I don't have... A lot of uh, is concrete. Now, we only have 150, so we're going to have to really be conservative with the concrete. This is actually open. That's just a graphical glitch. In fact, I wonder if we ran the POIs command, if that would fix that. Nope, it didn't. Okay. So this this is actually open down there. Um, it's just the game's being kind of weird with the graphics. So uh, anyway... Yeah, so this is going to be the same the same gig as last night. The only difference is, uh, like I said, we have a return path now that comes all the way back up from Bedrock. Okay, and so the Zombos will be able to uh, path back up to us uh, all the way down. I still didn't re haven't removed all the rest of the stone because again, just didn't have enough time. But um, I'm hoping you know that the pathing will work here. And, you know, that they won't break it or anything, and that we should be good. So as long as the as long as long the pathing stays good, we'll be fine. Get out of the way, you dumbass. That's, that's just weird, though, that texture glitch. 
but I just wanted to show you that it is in fact a glitch. Okay, let's get over here and get up into our spot. Um, and we have about an end game hour left, which means we have about 60 seconds left or so. I've also placed a land claim block down up here so we, we don't have to worry about repops up here now. So let's go here. There might be some up above us just because I put the land claim block down without clearing the upper floor. Let's just take a peek up here and see. I probably better take a bandage too. Oh, I know what we were going to do. We were going to test and see if we can actually lob a pipe bomb down into the pit and, and see if it'll if it'll get all the way to the bottom before it detonates. You know, it's going to be hard for us to tell from here, though. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do that. You can tell the pathing's working, though, because these, these doofuses are coming up here. He did. So this is actually a really nice little setup. And I told you this uh, in the last episode where we did Horde 49. I got this idea from Camos Gamer. Uh, he's, an, he's a really nice guy. Uh, he also does seven days to die videos. So check him out if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, I got that idea from him and it works really well because it's still, you know, it doesn't break the path. So the zombies still think they can get to you. But once they get onto these bars, you know, half the time they'll fall off. Um, and so what that does is it, it just gives you a little bit more control over the situation. Cause if this was just a solid path to us, or even if it was hatches or a door, which I've done in the past, you know, you still have all of them rushing you at the same time. So, you know, you have better control with this setup. We just have to make sure that we keep these, you know, keep these guys, um, repaired. And I'm going to be as conservative as I can with our concrete, cause we don't have very much. And so these blocks are critical, you know, to, well, they're all critical of course, but we, we basically just don't want anything that's going to break their pathing. So that's where we're at with that. Okay, so we have about a half an hour left in game, half an hour. Let's just hop up here really quick and uh, see if there's actual sleepies up here. There might be, there might not be. Because I, I haven't logged out since I set the land plane block down. But all of this stuff's been looted. Yeah, I, I think we're we're probably clear up here. How are we doing it in, for encumbrance? Eh, not too bad. I want to really start, you know, collecting rotten meat, especially because of the fact that we can now, you know, we're getting to the point where we can start making the hobo stew. So as gross as it is, we need that stuff for food, you know. We just We just don't think about the fact that it's rotten. Let's grab this stuff, too, while we're up here. And we got the skelly here in the weird-ass weird, uh, weird -ass ritual room. That leads out onto the roof. Okay. So I think we're as set as we can be. And I have, like I said, I have really been scrambling to, <laughs> to try and get even just to this point. And I'm still not done. Uh, one of the guys in the stream also told me that if I have better barter three, then that opens up the potential to get the auger uh, from the trader. So we went ahead and put a point into that. Uh, so now we have better barter three. And hopefully uh, when, you know, the trader resets after Horde Night uh, tomorrow, uh, they'll have a, an auger. And that would be so wonderful to have an auger. Because, you know, just doing this by hand is so, uh, it takes so long. It, it's expensive, you know, uh, from the standpoint of food because you have to eat a lot of food to maintain your stamina. And, um, you know, it's, it's just going to be better with the auger all the way around when that time comes. All right, we're going to eat this now. And I think we're good to go. Let's try a pipe bomb in the hole. Yeah, that, <laughs> that detonated way before it got to the bottom. So we're not going to be able to do that in this pit. But I have, an, I have an idea. I have some ideas, you know, for in the future, you know, doing some explosive um, horde bases, you know, using explosives. So we'll see, you know, how things go. Okay, let's do this. 
We're going to try and get bleeds on these guys, too, so when they're, you know, falling down, they're already starting to take damage. And they, you know, they take a, a decent amount of fall damage, too, when they fall all the way down to bedrock. But see how well this is working? Because they're not all just grouped up on me. Most of them are falling down, and then they have to cycle back up. So it, it just works out really good. Let's get some bleeds on Biker Billy here. Oh, we got a point in blades, too. How about that? And he just, he just launched himself off the side. So I'm feeling pretty good about this design. I mean, we'll see how we are at the end of the night, but I think it's going to work out pretty good. We should, hopefully we'll get a point or two in sledgehammers, um, too, uh, tonight. I do have the ergonomic mod on the sledge to give us a little bit of a stamina boost. Um, but I think what our MO is going to be is, you know, we'll use the katana until our stamina gets back, and then we'll use the sledgehammer. See, she's going to drop off there. So, yeah, this, this design gives really good control over the horde. Because you're not having to deal with all of them at the same time. Oh, we got a mummy. Oh, <laughs> he bailed off. Okay. So, again, you know, kudos uh, to my, my friend Camos Gamer for showing me this. I don't know where he picked it up. Uh, maybe he thought of himself or he probably saw it from somebody else. But it's just a wonderful, wonderful design. I mean, you know, they're hardly hitting this, so they're doing very, very little damage. So that's another huge, huge plus, especially because of the fact that we don't have a ton of concrete anyways, you know? Oh, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to take a look at our our, our kill count. So let's see, we have 2475, and I've already, I don't know how many I've killed so far. Um, but we'll just say maybe 2470-ish or so, and we'll see how many kills we have by the end of the night. Uh, we also uh, are pretty close to the start of the next level, so... It'd be nice to pick up, you know, a couple, three levels tonight, too, if we can. That zombie will give us... Uh, or not the zombie, the uh, the mummy will give us some, some nice XP uh, once we can kill him. Okay, let's bring our sledge back. Start thumping these guys. Oh, we're still out of stamina. Um, shit, I don't really have anything. I mean, I want to kind of save this. Yeah, we're just going to have to manage our stamina a little bit better. But with this design, we can afford to do that is the thing. You know, we don't have to constantly be killing them because they're not just constantly tearing up the base. Okay, sledgehammer sandwich for you. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Now, we're not going to get as many kills or as much XP as we did with the explosive-based design. But, you know, the good news about this is it, it's, it's less hectic, it's more manageable, and it's allowing us to to level up our melee skill, you know. So it's got pluses, you know, definitely from that side. Let's get the mummy bleeding here. How mummies can bleed, don't ask me, but apparently they can. So I wonder. Let's try something here. Let's jump up here. And oh, I don't know. This is going to hurt us because we're not five blocks up. Yeah, we better not do that. We need to stay here so they keep happening to us, anyways. I did, in fact, blow myself up on Horde Knight, and I don't really want to repeat that because, you know, it's kind of embarrassing and all that. Whoa! Let's see if we can get a double here. A double whack. There you go, Edgar. Okay, stamina. Let's get some bleeds going. Oh, we're getting a raid. Welcome, everybody. I have, I'm have i actually recording a YouTube episode right now, so I have the alerts turned off, but appreciate that, Sentient One. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Um, Yeah, so those of you guys who are watching the YouTube video after the fact, if you didn't already catch this at the beginning, uh, I am actually live streaming this as we record at the same time. Let's give that guy some knee bleed. Welcome, you guys. Appreciate it. Okay, so stamina is a constant pain in the butt, but here again, it's not. We're not like in dire straits because of it, though. Either let's uh let's get our uh, hammer here and just kind of look and see. Yeah, we we need to touch that up, so let's do it. 
But we have four posts here, you know, so even if they break one, there's still four more posts. Okay, we'll give you some bleats. Ah, I hate it when you waste a swing because it uses so much stamina, you know? That's all right. So, it's go going pretty good so far. I mean, they're, they're definitely pathing back up here. So as long as they don't break the path, you know, we're golden, man. We are in good shape. All right, let's give you a bleed. I hear Zombos that way too, but it's probably just coming down from below, I'm guessing. Because the thing is, is this this area that's that we're in, it's actually hanging. You know, they have no footpath to the sides of these walls. It's completely hanging in the air uh, just off the building. Uh, because if it wasn't, they wouldn't be, you know, only coming up this path, you see. Oh, we got a thump there. Off with your head. We have really low sledgehammer skill right now, uh, but even with the low sledgehammer skill, we're still getting head pops about 30% of the time, which is pretty nice. Let's give you a bleed. Oh, it looks like her knees are already bleeding. Buzzards can't get to us, so they can suck off, which is great. And, you know, I might... I might do some more stuff with this base as time goes on, too. Um, you know, we're just getting started, basically. It's just really at the point now where it's functional, but it's not everything that it can be, so to speak. Okay. Oh, there you go. Off with your head. Edgar's dead. But yeah, the one drawback to this, of course, like I said, is we're, we're not getting anywhere near the XP that we would in the exploding base. But that's okay. We've been doing the exploding base pretty much ever since we started this series, and so I wanted to try something different. And uh, this is it. This is the different. Okay, let's get a bleed on you. That was a either a cop or a buzzard spit. I would like to make our little cage here, you know, more secure, reinforce it, make it all concrete and stuff. But here again, I just haven't had time to get that far with it. Nice. And they do, you know, they do take some damage because uh, this pit goes all the way down to bedrock. So they do take some fall damage. It's not a huge amount, but it helps, you know, every little bit helps. Let's pop a bandage since we've been getting thumped a couple of times. How is my uh, concrete? Yeah, we're good on the concrete. Okay. Zombie Darlene's going to die from bleeding here in a second. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Oh, shit, we missed. So he, he had enough health down that he might die from the fall. There's just really no way to tell, though, because, you know, they spawn in all kinds of this, of the same Zeke. I hear doggy doggies. Oh, shit. Um, that guy. Okay, he's going to be a pain in the ass. We can actually step into his flames. They only hurt when he actually hits you. So that's one of the special Ravenhurst Zombos. Um, let's see if we can shotgun him the next time he shows up, because, yeah, he's a pain in the ass. Get some bleeds going. I hear the mummy. All right, I'm going to touch up this block here just a little bit. Those are good. All right, that's the mummy. Oh, no, I think that's the, the flint. No, that's the mummy. Okay. Let's get some bleeds going on him. You dead. Let's 
See, he just keeps trying to run at me without without necessarily hitting the block. Oh, there goes the fire again. Oh, that caught Edgar on fire. Hmm, maybe we should keep that guy around. <laughs> He's helping us out. Just don't let him hit us, right? Okay, it's 12.30. So we're about roughly halfway through the Horde Night. And all is well so far. But it's not over yet. Okay, that's the damage is just minimal. Here, let's uh, let's tap that. I've got double plates here too, as you can see. So even if they did get to the point where they completely broke that, which is probably only going to happen if a, you know, if a demo actually blew up up here. Yeah, it, it's very safe. So you know, we're not really in any danger, at least not from the front. Uh, you know, up there could be an an issue, but I I don't think we'll be have a problem. Oh. Oh, you're just that guy. I thought he was that flamethrower dude. But they don't, you know, they they don't have any way to get up to the upper floor anyway. So there's no path for them because I've I've broken it all. But even so, you know, shit can happen, right? So I, I still want to reinforce this, get it all upgraded to at least reinforced concrete. So you know, we're in a nice little safe shell here. Okay, things are slowing down. That could be a bad thing. It could mean they've broken their path. Let's just see what happens here. Yeah, I'm starting to think um, they've busted the path because, you know, it slowed way down. So that just means they're going to be down below making a mess out of everything, and we'll have to fix it up later, but... Um, the only real danger to that is if they happen to break enough blocks out to where it compromises the SI of the building and things start collapsing. It's probably not going to happen, but it could happen, you know, so we'll just see. Most likely these ones that we're seeing now are just zombos, you know, that are new spawns and not coming up from down below. Yeah, I, th I think they've broken the path. Well, okay. It is what it is. It's one o'clock, so we just have to survive for three more hours, and then we'll, you know, we'll go down and assess the situation. Okay. <laughs> it got awfully quiet. I guess we could go try and kill the buzzard. Come on, doggy doggy. He's going to bleed out. He did. Okay, let's go. Um, let's get our shotgun out. We don't want to spend a lot of time away from the path because it'll cause the Zeeks to go somewhere else. Oh, actually, here. We want to go out this way. Man, it's hard to see out here. It's all red and foggy. Oh, shit, there you are. Okay. Let's go back down. Okay, I hear, I hear a couple running around outside. So yeah, the key to this is just, you know, we we've, we eventually want to get the, the pathway up here upgraded to steel, um, you know, so they don't break it. But, you know, I think, I think we did as good as we could with what we had to work with in the time and all that sort of thing. Uh, so let's just hope they don't completely annihilate stuff down below. Okay, well, those of you who are watching uh, this episode on YouTube, I'm probably going to cut the camera here, and I'll bring you guys back um, in the morning unless something crazy happens. Um, and if something crazy happens, then, of course, we'll include that. So otherwise, uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. You know, one thing we could do, um, I'm batshit crazy for even considering this, but, I mean, I'm not hearing any Zeeks at all. Because they're all down below in the game, you know, we have a we have a 32 Zombo horde because anything more than that and it just tanks my computer when I'm trying to record and stuff. 
but they're all down below, right? So the game's not going to spawn any more Hordies in. Oh, we're out of gas. <laughs> I, I was sane? He might not be a Blood Moon, though. He might just be a normal walker. All right, come here, Edgar. Oh, shit, he dodged me. Fall in the hole. Fall down below. Or get your head smashed. All right, we need to get some gasoline in this thing. Uh, you know what, though? Shit. If we get on that, we're going to get boss vultures. Hmm. Yeah, we, we better not get on this. What I want to do, though, is I want to path around and go down the ramp a little ways and just see if we can figure out what's going on. These guys are so damn squirrely. Okay, he's dead. Hmm. We're still getting trickle zombos. No, no, no. Okay. We better not do this. I'm going to get myself killed. <laughs> okay. I wanted to see if we could get on the ramp and just go down a little ways and see, you know, where it broke, but I'm going to get myself killed if I do that. So what's probably happening is the zombos down below, um, some of them are probably TTLing, um, and when they die, then you know then it spawns another one in to take their place. TTL meaning time to live, in case you don't know what that term means. So if you've ever seen a Zeke in the game just all of a sudden collapse and die for no reason, that's because it's TTL ran out. Okay, she's down in the hole. Okay, where are you coming? Coming up here? Come on, dude. Pretty chill hard night, though. You know, all things considered, right? There we go. Okay, he might die because he has the bleed, plus he's going to take fall damage. Uh, it's 3 o'clock, so we have one hour left. One hour left. All right, should we try and go back outside again? The answer is no. Are we going to do it anyways? Yes. Why are we encumbered? Um, That's not a good idea. I mean, this isn't a good idea in any stretch of the imagination, but especially being encumbered, right? Um, all right, we're going to turn this into bones and I don't really want to get rid of anything else anything will stack in here oh there we go okay so we're only two slots encumbered now we're good let's see if we can sneak around here So, they've broken the path pretty far down. Yeah, see, they're all down there. It won't be that hard for us to, you know, to repair, of course. The thing that we got to do is we got to make sure that it's stronger because cobblestone's just not enough to... Oh, you know what we could do? This is not actually a good idea. 
because it's going to spawn new zombies and they're going to come after us now. <laughs> look at the look at the destruction, man! It's beautiful. I probably just killed myself. I can't help it though. Whenever we have a chance to blow up zombies, we can't pass it up. Holy shit! Why did I do this? Okay, here we gotta. They're going to come down the path at us now. So here, let's get this upgraded to that. And I, I want to try and get up on the... Oh, shit! <laughs> no, we're dead. We're dead. I knew I just killed myself when I threw that, that explosive. <laughs> oh, man. Can we get up here? Oh, man. We can't... That, oh, we're dead. <laughs> The problem is we can't nerd pull in Ravenhurst. As soon as I threw that pipe bomb, I knew it was over. Because what happened is it spawned in a whole new group, and then they just came down the path to us. That's all right, though. It was fun. You guys were entertained, so... I meant to do it that way. <laughs> oh, really, Maruski? Okay. All right, well, we have 15 minutes left, and then um, we'll figure out what to do from there. I'll tell you what, though, man. We got a shit ton of XP from that explosion. We killed a lot of Zeeks uh, by doing that, but yeah. All right. We want to kind of keep them moving around so they don't... Because this building could very easily be collapsed by the horde. We only have like six more in-game minutes, so we're, we'll be good. No, you know, I lit that pipe bomb up and I'm thinking to myself, man, look at all the XP down there. I launched it and then I then as soon as I launched it, I'm going, oh shit, I just killed myself. <laughs> oh well, it was fun. It was fun. You guys were entertained. That's the important thing. Was it stupid? Of course. But it was fun stupid. Okay, let's go. We got to get over to our spot. Get away from these guys. Normal Zeeks won't run, but the... Uh, you know, any ferals and stuff in the group will still run, so... Okay, let's just get up here for a second. It should despawn here in a moment. I know what we'll do. Here, let's just get on the bike. Hey, yeah, there's Miss Jiggly. We'll just go down the road a little ways and then they, they should despawn when we come back. Okay. Well, you know what? Um... Uh, apart from my self-inflicted death there, uh, the base really worked out quite well. We just, like I said, we just need to reinforce the return path so they can't break it so easy. I mean, even if they broke it towards the end of the night, it still would have been, you know, quite a bit successful. But, I mean, cobblestone is nothing for those guys to break. You know, some of them can probably one-shot a cobblestone block. So we need to get it upgraded to reinforce concrete and then eventually, you know, upgrade it to steel. And then it should be a lot more effective. Okay. Let's go back here and we'll head on down and get our stuff. Okay. None of these guys are runners. Man, you ugly. Okay, let's go. Oh, look at that. What do we get here? Nice. Got some steel. So this will be super easy for us to repair, too. We just have to repair a couple blocks down here and then, you know, try and get them, uh, get them upgraded. All right. So let's do our backpack first, which is... Where is it? It's right... Uh... Where's it at? I can't see because it's so dark down here. All right, well, let's get rid of get these open first. Oh, nice. We got a ratchet. Beautiful. Some 7.62. 
Okay, so it says the backpack's right here. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's really dark down here, so I just can't see it very well. All right. There you go, guys. Horde 56. And, you know, they didn't actually do as much damage as I, excuse me, as I thought they would. I mean, they dug this out pretty good, but not enough really, you know, to, to be worried about structural integrity failing on the building kind of thing. That tunnel, of course, was my original return. And um, so overall, I'm pretty pretty pleased with how it turned out. Again, we just all we need to really do is, you know, make the return path stronger. We make the return path stronger, and the base is working beautifully, exactly how it's been designed uh, to, uh, you know, built. Designed to, uh, to function is what I'm trying to say. So awesome. Okay, cool. And, you know, the other good thing, too, is I don't have a ton of work I have to do in here for, for the next Horde night. We have a little bit of work we have to do. Get this fixed and try and get this. Oh, shit. That scared me. What the hell? <laughs> um, Houston? Okay. You guys scared me. Let's just play a ring around the katana here. Out of stamina. Okay, there you go. <laughs> um, so let's put these blocks back in place here. Um, we're going to need to... Here, we'll do that one. That actually isn't going to probably stay there without a support behind it. So let's pull that back up. And what we'll do is... Let's turn a couple of these in back into just just the regular, you know, square blocks. <clears throat> and we'll put we'll put that there for now and we're going to need to do the same thing here. There we go. Oh, darn it. I changed everything back. Let's go here and turn that that way, that that way, and then do I I should have everything to upgrade these, right? Yeah. So this area down here especially, um, you know, we should fill this in a little more. And uh, by the next Horde Night, we need, we definitely need to have this upgraded to, um, it, to at least reinforce concrete. Because this is the most susceptible part to get damaged. Usually once they're on the path, you know, then they're okay. And they'll just, they'll just come back up. And you saw it worked really good, you know, for the first part of the Horde Night. But it's just, you know, getting them on this path. I'll probably open this up a little bit more, too, uh, just to really encourage them to, you know, get on the path, right? And not bust the shit out of things. We could also put some, um, you know, some stairs, side stairs down here, too, which we should do. And that will help as well. Uh, we need mortar to fix that. Okay. Um, so what we, what I'm talking about here is, can we do that with the the blocks? We're looking for this. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's what we want there. And then if we go and choose just normal stairs here, um, here, I guess. There, that way they can do this kind of thing, right? And they're not getting hung up right here and uh, causing more destruction and all that. Uh, we don't need those blocks in place now. Okay, cool. Let's uh, change this back to just a normal square. We'll put that in there. All right, great. So um, I will come back down here at uh, off camera 
Uh, not, you know, not going to do that for the rest of this stream. Um, but I'll come back down here off camera and, you know, get this all upgraded and, you know, get it upgraded to at least reinforce concrete if we're not able to, you know, get it into steel. Now, I could go harvest some steel. Like I said, I'll need mortar for that. I could go harvest some steel from lamp posts and use that to get just the, the lower blocks. So we'll, we'll see how things go. But, oh, my goodness, we are so heavy. Let's get rid of one nail. Uh, we don't need the lead. We got stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks of lead. Uh, we don't need the stone. And I think... Uh, Let's eat this hobo stew now because we need to anyway. And that frees us up a couple slots. It's nice that we got a, a ratchet. That's cool because uh, so far I've only been working with wrenches. And let's head on up, drop some stuff off, and then we're going to go, we're going to take a break from all this work and we're going to go do some POIs. I've got the McDonald's uh, POI uh, to do from the trader. Uh, let's see, where's that at? Yeah, the McDowell's. And there's a bunch of street lamps, uh, street lamps there too. So we'll be able to get some steel from that. And then later on, I'll come back down here and just, you know, shore things up, do a little more repairing. But as you can see, the ramp up higher here has very little damage. The place that it's most likely to have damage is on the corners, um, just because they the AI has to turn. But even this is all really, you know, untouched. It, it's in very, very good shape. But still, eventually, I'll get it all upgraded to to at least reinforce concrete. Especially, you know, as the hordes get worse and worse. Okay. Thanks for hanging out, Stevie. Have a great uh, day at work, and we will see you next time around, man. Take care. All right, guys, uh, watching the YouTube video, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And uh, what we'll do is I'm going to go back to the base, kind of get situated, and then we're going to run down to uh, the McDowell's place. And once I get there, we'll start the next recording, um, and we'll do some POIing. Actually, no, I completely lied. We're not going to do that. We're going to do... No, we are going to do that. We're going to do that first because I need some more jars so that I can finish making the rain catcher. So that is the plan uh, for the next episode. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.